डेली अज्ञान तिमिरंधस्य ज्ञानंजन शलाकया चक्षुरुन मिलितं जेन तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः वंचा कल्पतरुभस्य कृपा सिंधुभ्ये वच पतितानं पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमः नमो महाबदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नमने गौरतिशे नमः गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय इतदालय कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद भक्ताय नमो नमः तवैवाश्मि तवैवाश्मि नापिमामि त्वया बिना इति विज्ञय राधे तं न माम चरणन्ति के We were explaining Manashiksha, second text. And I have explained what is the interior mood of Srila Rabunath Das Goswami. That we should not follow dharma and adharma, what it has been told in Vedas, Upanishads, and all Shastra. We should, try, we should try to always serve Jugal Radha and Krishna. Always. Thinking that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the same as Gopindranandan, Gopindranandan, Shisham Sundar. No difference at all. But wish, if we want bridge pain and we are following Raganuga, then those who want to serve and worship Radha Krishna with separate mantra than Krishna, they should do. Don't disturb them. They can meditate, they can worship Chaitanya Mahav, offer anything by Gaur mantra. And also to Krishna also, Radha Krishna, don't detract them. But you should think that if you are giving um, uh, any op- offering to Krishna and you are meditating Krishna, you are meditating in the same time Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because they are both identical. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has brought Braja Prem and really he has told that who is Krishna, who is Radhika. So he must be served before Radha and Krishna conjugal like Guru because he has acted like Guru. Anyone has has, uh, never have given these teachings like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Already he has discovered, especially Unnata Ujjala, this boat. So he should be served in the shape of Guru Dev, Jagat Guru. And if you are thinking, meditating him before serving Krishna and serving, meditating Krishna, then it is okay. So always we should think like this. But those who are have no such thick greed for Raganuga Bhajan, they should also think that his Bhajan Guru, Shiksha Guru or Diksha Guru, if he is Bhajan Guru, like Rupa Goswami, like others, if Bhajan Guru, and he has made him, helped him to 
follow Rupanuga, this current, this path, line. line. Then we should know that he is manifestation of Krishna. Sakshat Haritvena Shamastha Shastra. He should be given preference. If you are not doing, then it has been told that Prathamam tu Gurum Pujya, first you should worship Gurudev. And at, 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 after that you should do archan of Krishna. Otherwise every will be what? Zero. No value. Also it has been told, Narayano api vikritam jati, guru prachutasya durvade kamlam jalat apetam sosyati ravirna poshayati. That if you are not serving your Gurudev, then even Narayan Krishna, they will be not satisfied. Never. Jasya prasadat bhagavat prasadat. Jasya prasada nagati kutopi. Like Krishna is like sun and devotee is like lotus. lotus flower. If that lotus flower is in water, then sun helps it to blossom. blossom. But if there is no water and then Sun is there. It will burn. It will burn that lotus. So Guru is like water. If Guru is not there, then Krishna, you are doing archan and all other things serving Krishna. Oh, you will be burnt. There will be no fruit. And if there is water, and in water that is lotus, then sun will very gladly blossom it. So we should try to do. But I'm always telling to, telling this that Guru must be what? Bonafide. I think bona fide. Otherwise no nothing, no fruit. So it depends on our heart. If our heart is sincere and praying Krishna that oh Krishna manage our Guru. He has heard from devotee that without Guru we cannot have this line. So first we should be uh, offering ourselves, surrender to Krishna, and then he will manage for a qualified Guru. Otherwise we cannot have Guru. So Krishna first, as a Chaitya Guru, he will give some way to you that you can have a real guru. Otherwise, if you want to be happy only in this world, only this fallen guru may come. And you will be cheated and you will think that, oh, my Guru Dev is himself Krishna more than Krishna. So we should not like to. Then Raghunath Goswami is again telling in his third text, Jadi Chera Vasam Brajabhuvi Jadi chera vasam pajabhuvi sharagam pratijanu juad dandam tachet paricharitram alad abhilase swarupam sirupam sahaganami hatasya grajmapi sputam premnam nityam smara namatadatvam surumana. You have book? Yes, sir, read the meaning. My dear mind, please hear me. If you are eager to gain residence in Vraj, on the platform of Ragatmika Bhakti, and if you desire to obtain the direct service of Navayugal Kishore, Sri Sri Radha Krishna, then birth after birth, always distinctly remember and bow down with great love to Sri Sri Rupa Damodar Goswami, Sri Rupa Goswami, his elder brother, Sri Sanat Goswami, and all of the associates of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu the recipients of His mercy. My explanation is there? Mm -hmm. yeah. 
the question may be raised whether it is possible to attain Ragatmika Bhakti and residence in Vraj by accepting Diksha and Shiksha from a Vaishnava of any other Sampradaya. This question is answered in this third shloka. The hmm. most munificent Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu bestows Ragatmika Bhakti and Vraj Prem for Sri Radha Krishna Yuga. He reveals the supremely confidential mysteries of that Vraj Prem and the method to obtain it. His most intimate associates, Sri Sarup, Sri Rupa, Sri Sanatan, and other Goswamis are the principal storekeepers and guardians of this most rare Vraj Prem. Through the medium of their disciplic succession and the authentic literatures composed by them, they have given the whole world the most valuable gift of the procedures of Braj Ras, the yeah. manner of residence in Braj, and the most confidential method of obtaining Sri Yugal Prem. Yeah. Without taking shelter of their lotus feet and following their instructions, it is not possible to obtain residence in Braj on the platform of Ragatmika Bhakti and the service of Sri Yugal Kishore saturated with Anurag. We have heard this question that if anyone is taking initiation from any Vaishnava who are not in the line of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, like Ramanu Sampradaya, Madhva Sampradaya, Vallab Sampradaya, and all other Sampradaya, and if he wants Raganuga Bhakti, or Agatmika Bhakti, and to serve Radha Krishna conjugal in Golok Vrindavan, it is absurd. You cannot have. Even I think you are taking initiation in our Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya, but the gurus who have no idea of Ragatmika and Raganuga Bhakti, even they have no idea of Vaidhi Bhakti, even pure Vaidhi Bhakti, they cannot give all these things. Nowadays, not nowadays, from the time of Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, we are seeing that so, there were so many devotees though who are opposing hmm, about Rupa Goswami, Siksha, hmm, Anapri Charing, Chirat, this. We are not qualified for this. We should not even hear all these things. Be far away. We should only read Gita and chant Harinam. Through chanting Harinam we will do. And offending Vaishnavas, not proper honoring Vaishnavas, only chanting will do. Thus, but this will lead us to, lead us to hell. If you are chanting, remembering, and not have been initiated by any Rashik and Suddha, Tattik, Tattika, knowing all the established truths, you cannot help. Even Vaidhi Bhakti Riyat, what to speak of? Uttama Bhakti, of Raganuga Bhakti and Ragan, Ragatmika, we cannot. Nowadays, even everywhere, we hear that. In this world, anyone is not qualified to to even hear the name of Raga Nuga. You should not read Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th canto. Never you should. You should not read Chaitanya Chaitamit, Adi 4, and Raya Ramananda, all that. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Raya Ramananda, Radha Krishna Tattva, Radha Tattva, Prem Tattva, Rasha Tattva. He wanted to know from him. We should not. When anything is going on, we should do and we should try to fly away from there. But I have not seen anywhere like this. Anyone <coughs> observing Vaidhi Bhakti from so many years hearing Chaitanya Charitamrit, 
hearing Rup Goswami books and Srimad Bhagavatam. From beginning, Krishna Das Kabiraj Goswami in Chaitanya Chaitamrit. What he is telling? Why this Raghunath Das Goswami is telling from beginning? This Ragatmika Bhakti, Raganuga Bhakti, why he is telling? This is our aim and object of our bhajan. A man, a devotee, a sadhak cannot be eternally in lower class. Bhaji bhakti arata jane. Swadhinata ratna dane. Rag marga karena pravesh. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has. He himself is told. If you are chanting, remembering, and reading Chaitanya Chaita, automatically a greed may come that I should serve Radha Krishna Kanjuga like gopis. Why Vishwanachavati type made this? Aradhyo Bhagavan Praje Satanayasta Dhamma Vrindavanam Ramya Kachitu Pasna Bajupadu Bhargaina Jakalpita Srimad Bhagavatam Praman Amalam Prema Pumartho Mahan Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Matamidam Tatra Adi. Why he told that Aradhyo Bhagavan Praje Satanayasta Dhamma Vrindavanam Ramya Kachitu Upasana Bajupadu Bhargaina Jakalpita. Why he told? Why Chaitanya in Chaitanya Chaitanya has written that without the guidance of any practice, without the guidance of gopis, a devotee cannot go in lakhs and lakhs birth to Guru Bindavan. Never he can go, especially in Unnat Ujjal Rasha. So I think from beginning, beginning from Madhvendra Puri to up to the, our whole Acharyas there, Raganuga Vaishnava. Rupanuga Gauruya Vaishnava Varga ki jai. What is Rupanuga? Hmm? We should try to inquire. And if not inquiring, this thing that we are ignorant. We do daily Rupanuga Guru Varga ki jai. Why you are going? Why you are telling that your Guru Dev is Rupanuga? Why you are telling? That if you are telling that, oh, you should not uh, uh, hear that what Rupa Goswami had done, in Bhakti Rishamri Sindhu and Ujjwal Hindmani. Why? What is Rupanuga? Hmm? What is Rupanuga? Can you tell? What is Rupanuga? To understand, to understand Rupanuga, then first we should understand what is Raganuga. Hmm. Raganuga. And to first to know Raganuga, we should know Raga, Ragatmika. And to know Raganuga, then we should know what is Ragatmika. Hmm. So, Ragatmika, Bhakti is referring to those presents of Braj, such as Sridham, Sudam, Suhal, those in Vatsaliras, like Yashodamaya, Nanda Baba, Upananda, and those in Madhuras like Shimati Radhika, Lalita, Vishaka, Rupa Mandri, Rati Mandri. So they have within them an intrinsic, um, spontaneous affection towards the Lord. It's explained just as if you have glass, which is stained glass. So the colors within the stained glass, they cannot be wiped off at any time. It is part of the glass. So this intrinsic, spontaneous, natural affection that they have flowing towards the Lord, um, it cannot be removed at all. This is Ragatmika. Mm -hmm. So those residents, eternal residents of the Holy Dham, they are Ragatmika Jan. And Raganuga, um, those devotees who, like Rupa Goswami, um, Ragnadas Goswami, who um, have agreed, lo, they have agreed to um, have that same mood as the Ragatmik Jan. 
such as Rupa Mandri, Rati Mandri, Labanga Mandri, etc. So, the Radhanuga Bhaktas, they may have greed for um, having the mood of um, the Ragatmika Bhakta, Ragatmika Jan, who are in Sakyaras, such as Manu Mangal, Subal Saka, um, Vasudam, etc. Or they may have greed to follow in the footsteps of Ragatmika Jan and Vatsalya, such as Yashoda Maya, Nanda Baba, Upananda, or they may have greed, you may have um, Brahmanuga Bhaktas who have greed for Ragatmika Jan to follow their footsteps, such as Lalita, Vishaka, or um, really, Rupa Mandri, Rati Mandri, Labanga Mandri, Guna Mandri, etc. So this is, these are the Radhanuga Bhaktas. But a Rupa Nuga has the speciality that they have the greed to follow um, specifically in the mode of Rupa Mandri. And what is that? That is, th- uh, that is how Rupa Swami internally in the shape of Rup Manjari, used to serve Radha Krishna Kanjugal. Especially, he was inclined somewhat more towards Srimati Radhika. Feeling happiness when Srimati Radhika used to be happy. And when separation moved, then feeling separation moved. So this mood is called Rupanuga. Anyone following uh, Shubal Sakar Siddham, Maya Jasoda and others, also Lalita Vishakha, they may be Ragatmik Jan and to follow, those followers may be called Raganuga, but they will not be called Rupanuga, especially those who are following the modes of Rup Goswami. They will be called Rupanuga. Our whole Vaishnava from Rupa Goswami, hmm? even Sanatana Goswami, he wanted to follow Rupa Goswami this way. All Goswamis. Even Gopal Bhatta, he was like Gunamanjari. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, uh, Kasturi Manjari. Loknath Das Goswami, Huh? Manjulali. Manjulali Manjari. All were following Rupa Goswami, Rupa Manjari. So all has prayed that, O oh Gurudev, O oh Loknath Goswami, when we will take me and give me in the lotus feet of Rupa Goswami. So if any Acharya is not following Rupa Goswami, then actually he is not Rupa Goswami. Like in Chaitanya Chaitamit, everything has been given. Rupa Goswami has given in usual in money, especially that mood. Hmm? So if anyone is not following Rupa Goswami and serving Radha Krishna Kanjival, when the Sakhis, especially of Srimati Radhika, in the Gana of, in the youth of Srimati Radhika, and especially in the Gana of Lalita, and in the guidance of Rupa Manjari, they are not called Rupanuga. But our all acharya are there in the line of Rupa Goswami. So if anyone is telling that Narayan Maharaj is preaching somewhat else than Swami Maharaj, Swami Maharaj they are quite wrong. Ignorance. He was Rupanuga Vaishnava. If you think that he was Rupanuga Vaishnava, he must follow Rupa Goswami. We are all following Rupa Goswami. What I am telling of a Rupa and Raghunath. You can see, I always tell about them. So how we can be of different, different lines and sections? So there must be... What? Swamiji's Guru was Rupanuga. Swamiji's Guru was Rupanuga. So he was preaching other than his Gurudev. They are telling he is the best disciple of our Gurudev. Then how it can be? So it is not right. They are ignorant, those who are telling like this. The sannyas guru was Rupanuga. Yeah. <laughs> his, 
<laughs> and his best friend was his Rupanuga. <laughs> his sannyas guru was Binod Manjari. You know? He was Binod Manjari. So taking sannyas and in same mantra of Gopi, Gopi, sannyas mantra is what? Gopi mantra, he too. And he is not Rupanuga. And he will not tell about, about this and he was unaware of all these facts. So I think that what they are telling, they are all due to ignorance. They should follow all these things. Huh? If they are not qualified, they should... Learn something. Le- they should <laughs> begin Vaidhi Bhakti. As we are doing Vaidhi Bhakti, I never told anything that Oh, you should be Rup Manjari, Arati Manjari. I have never said. I have shall told that, oh, how this is glorious. Only this. I am telling always of Vaidhi Bhakti. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Vishvanam, like this. So, we must hear all these things. Anywhere it has not been uh, told that you should not follow. You should not hear. Vikriditam brajubadubhi dancha vishnu anushriyat shaddhan vitau anushriyat athaparani edaja bhakti param bhavati pratilabhya kama hidarog masu apihnatyaci. In this slok, hmm, two slok before, it has been told, we should not nechat samacharetu jatu we should not achareta acharet means we should not do like that we should not imitate like krishna and making ross we should not do but fairy carefully. with carefully no with so much honor anyone can hear this pastimes of krishna and it has told Bhaveta. Bhavet means Sri Krishna came to inspire all these devotees. Hmm? Bhutanam ki shlok no, you... Yes. Kya? Anu... Anugrahaya Bhutanam Manusam Deham Ashritam Bhajate Tadrashi Kida Bhajate means not doing. Bhajate, always praying. Hmm? Always hearing these kathas. Krishna has come to descend to the world that he will do so many sweet pastimes and the, un, uh, the persons who have some honor for this, they will hear this sweet pastime. And then Krishna by hearing, he will come in the heart through ears. Ear. And he will manifest. manifest himself. And then quickly all kinds of calm, lust, everything will go away. First bhakti will come and then they will go away. First bhakti will come. If bhakti is not coming, hidro cannot go, lust cannot go. In the proportion bhakti will come, lust. they will go. So very uh, regard, with very regard and honor, we should try to hear gradually the pastimes of Krishna from beginning, hmm? Srimad Bhagavat beginning, and thus Srimad Bhagavatam beginning, Chaitanya Charitamrita also, hmm? and then gradually following. If grid comes, if we can follow. So he tells, Jadi Ichhe Ravasam if you want to be in Vrindavan eternally, with rag, with rag means ragatmik bhakti, and you want to serve Radha and Krishna eternally in that way, with rag, like gopis, then you should always weep and cry. O Sarupdhamudar, O Rupa Goswami, O Sanatan Goswami, O Raghunath Das Goswami, Krishna Das Goswami, you should be merciful to me. Shavar your mercy. 
Even the ash sprinkles would come to me. Hmm? And for this we should cry always. There is no other way. Hmm? Always crying for this thing for to in the lotus feet of Sarup Damodar. Where is some Sarup Damodar? He is not in this world now. Who will hear? Then our crying is in the forest like? No. Sarup Damodar, Rayaramanand, this is everywhere where Krishna is there. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu always there. Huh? Every autumn. In every autumn. So he will hear. He is also Sarbhagya and what? Mugdha. Mugdha. Eh? Mugdha. Mugdha and Sarbhagya. Mugdha means always not knowing anything in Braja. Hmm? He is sinking always in the love and affect, ocean of love and affection of Gop, Gopis. But in the same time he is Sarbhagya, all knowing. Hmm? So he will know all these things. And gradually he will be merciful. So while Krishna is there, Sarup Damodha, Raya Ramananda, Rup Goswami and all his powers are there. They must hear. So we should have a very strong belief that where we will cry and weep for Sarup Damodha, he will come at once and he will sour his mercy. So he is telling like this. Hmm? Uh, today there will be a play and it is also about seven. Well, take ten minutes to prepare. Oh, they should be pre they should pre uh, and we are doing some kirtan or a little speaking. So you should do any kirtan. It means that now knowing this Raganuga Bhakti, Rupanuga Bhakti, you should begin from where? Adau Saddha Tata Sadhu Sangha Atav Bhajana Kriya Tato Anattam. From beginning you should do. As Rupa Goswami has told in Bhakti Rishamishri. Gaur Premananda. Gaur Premananda. Gaur
महाबदनाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय थे कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम गौर से नम नित्यानंद नमस्तुभ्यम प्रेमानंद प्रदाय ने फलो फलमशनाशा जानवा पत नम वंदे श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य निनंद सहोदित गौदोदय पुष्पवंत चित्रो शो चमोनुदो Oh, Saint Vaishnavas, please come with us to the holy land of Sri Navadvip Dam. Five hundred years ago, when the Supreme Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, the Panchatattva, and all their eternal associates advented in Sri Navadvip Dam. Tonight, we will witness the extraordinary mercy of Sri Nityananda. And Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu, in delivering the example of the most degraded and sinful living entities of this age of Kali Yuga, Jagai and Madhai. Lord Chaitanya and Nityananda Prabhu are always performing their pastimes in Sri Navadvip Dam. They initiated the congregational chanting of the holy names of Krishna in this world. Their complexions are as brilliant as molten gold, and they have exquisite, elongated lotus petal eyes. They are the maintainers of the entire universe, the topmost brahmanas, protectors of the religious principles of this age, and they are the well-wishers of every living entity and the embodiment of mercy and magnanimity. All glories to Lord Gorasundar. All glories to Lord Nityananda, who are served by everyone. One day in Sri Navadvip Dam, in the latter part of the day, two very degraded persons, who used to be born in the family of Brahmanas, were moving about in Navadvip Dam, terrorizing the citizens. Our scene begins with these two brothers. Performing their nefarious activities. Where do you think you're all going? What's your name? <laughs> Have you met Jadai and Madai? <laughs> Kill! Kill him! Kill him! Take his money! Take his money! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Not I! Not I! He's dead, not I! Not I need him! Not I! You think it's funny? Don't you know who we are? Where Jedi and Madai? I know all your faces, and I know where all you live. We're not scared of invaders. We're not scared of the Brahmins. We're not scared of the Brahmins. We're not scared of sin. We're completely fallen. 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 We're One day, Lord Chaitanya suddenly expressed a certain feeling to Lord Nityananda and Haridas Thakur.
Lord Jesus. I have a desire. Please listen. I would like you both to travel everywhere and to spread my teachings. I wish that you would go to every home and every village and unto every individual that you meet. Please implore them to chant the holy name of our Lord Krishna. Please establish this truth. Ask them to worship only Krishna, to become rich in the knowledge of the pure science of Krishna Bhakti. If you do not do this, I cannot be happy, for I feel so much for all of them. Please do this on my order, and I shall always be here at the end of the day. Go and return to me and give me your report of your preaching. O oh, Prabhu, surely we'll do as you ask. Oh, Haridas. Did I? What our Lord has said, we should do immediately. We should go to all the houses in Navadwi and knock on everyone's door and request everyone. Oh, my brother, please chant the name of Krishna. Certainly. We should go right away. Yes. Baja Goranga, Baja Goranga, Baja
Oh, oh brother. Oh, my brother. I'm requesting your bride. Please, I'm requesting you just once in your life. Share Krishna's name. Please. Why should I do that? Because <laughs> I'm only friend. What do you mean, my only friend? I have hundreds of friends. Get out of here, you fool! Oh, Get out! Oh, oh, you parasites in society! Get out of here! Oh, go! Go before I send the dogs on you! Oh, oh, I'll oh, bring you back to us! Get out of here! Go! One day, Lord Nityananda and Haridas Thakur came across two drunkards, totally intoxicated and giant in size, looking like the worst kind of pirates. Their tales of wicked acts are unending, and there was not a sin that they had not committed. Although they were born in a Brahmin family, they consumed liquor and beef, and they robbed, and they burnt others' houses. They disobeyed the court injunctions against them, and they always avoided appearing before the officers of the law. All day, they engaged in their wicked activities. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 
and sannyasis, such an assembly is more irreligious than a group of drunkards. For the drunkards, there is still a chance for salvation. But for those who are critical of Vaishnavas, there is no hope of liberation. of their family. But why do they act like this? Well, you see, even their mother and father have rejected them, thrown them from their home, and their whole society, their village, have ostracized them. They are such rascals and miscreants. Most sinful gods they are. When Lord Nityananda heard these facts about the two scoundrels, his heart melted he immediately felt great compassion for them and he began to consider how he could save them. Oh. My Gorasunda, he has incarnated just to save all the fallen conditioned souls in this world. Who is more fallen than these two? Yes, it's true. Look at them. Look at their strength. They're like two lying dogs in the garden. But, if my Mahaprabhu, if he delivers these two fallen souls, then he'll be celebrated all over the three worlds as Patita Pavana. And I think that I, Nityananda, that I can be a proper servitor if I induce Mahaprabhu to save these two fallen conditioned souls 
and give him the holy name. Kali Kale Nam Rupa Krishna Bhatta Nam Hoite Hoisa Jagat Nishta Haridas. In this age of Kali, Krishna is he's descended in a most wonderful, magnificent form. In the form of his holy name. And this name is so powerful that it can deliver the whole universe. Haridas, you are Namacharya. Mahaprabhu, he loves you so much. He will do anything that you ask. So please, be compassionate to these two. They are so low. Be compassionate to them and appeal to Mahaprabhu on their behalf. And certainly, he will deliver them. Certainly. And Sri Nityananda, my Lord, your desire is the same desire as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And as my Lord is known as Patita Pavana, you are also known as Patita Pavana, the Savior of the fallen. And as these two are fallen, but one thing is there. My lords are not known as Patita Kapatya. They have not come for the crooked. Or oh, they have not come for Vajnava Paradis. And these two unfortunate wretches, although sinful, they are free from Vajnava Parad. So I think that they are already delivered by your mercy. What need is there of me? I am a low, wretched person. Oh, Haridas. Oh, Nitaj. <laughs> Come, Haridas. Let us deliver the message of Mahaprabhu to these two. Oh, bye, brothers. Oh, bye. Oh, brothers. Please wake up. Chat to me. Chat to me. Krishna. Krishna. Oh, bye. Oh, bye. Please. Bye. Worship Krishna. Krishna. Please. Oh, my God. Just once. Just once. Worship Krishna with heart and soul. Krishna. He's your real friend. Friend. He is your mother. Krishna. 
<laughs> what do we get? What do we get? They tried to kill us. They tried to kill us. Our brother! And here they come! Don't worry! It is not my restlessness! It is the restlessness of your master! Oh, no, no, no. You better run, Harry! We don't have to put our hands! Come on! Oh, Govinda! Oh, 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 So being pursued by the two dastardly drunkards, Jagai and Madhai, Haridas and Lord Nityananda ran away, and Haridas ran to Advaita Charya and approached him to give a report of what had just occurred. has sent me out with a madman. You know what happens? I go one way, and he goes the other way. Completely the opposite. Sometimes, he drops into the Ganges, and he fights with crocodiles. And I yell out, Nittai, Nittai, come out! And he just flows down the river like a dead man. Another time, I saw him, he goes to a bull and jumps on the bull. And he yells out, Mahesh, Mahesh! Another time, I saw him run to small girls and say, Please, please marry me. Is this not the activities of a madman? <laughs> and another time, you know what he did? He goes and he tells boys, you play crooked today. And he goes behind to terrorize them. And then the parents come out with a stick to beat him. And he runs off because he's so fast and I'm so small. I'm left behind with the parents. <laughs> I'm really making away with my life. Another time, he runs on the plank and he sees cows. And he milks them. And he starts drinking their milk. And yet another time, he goes to where the cowherd men are. He breaks in when no one's looking, and he steals all the butter and the milk. But the thing is, I've escaped all these deaths. I've escaped the death of a Muslim. But today, it seems that by your mercy, I've escaped death. I'm sorry, thus. What you are saying to me does not surprise me. That mad, intoxicated attitudes should join the brothers, the drunken brothers, Jabba and Mother. He should join their party because he is intoxicated with love of God. But you as a renunciate should not join them. <coughs> Lord Nichinando will soon have the, the Jagai and Mara in the Sangha of the Vaishnavas. <coughs> and I and Nittai will soon have them dancing with the devotees. But we should not lose our... We should not... Thank you, Harry. Thank you. I like <laughs> 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 Tell me, how has your day gone? What progress have you made? 
and spreading the glories of the holy name of our Lord Krishna. For my Lord, we went to some places and we were very successful. Many people, they started to chant the name of Krishna. Many people. But one strange thing happened today. Have you heard of Jagai and Marai? Have you heard of them, my Lord? My restless friend here, he told me that we should deliver them and then your fame will be spread in all over the three worlds. And when we tried to get them to chant the holy name of Krishna, they tried to kill us. We barely got away with our lives. We just tried to do them a good turn. We followed the instructions. We just asked them, chant the holy name of Krishna. Worship Krishna. He is your real friend. They turn so violent. We just about got to leave our lives. Who are these men? What are their names? How can they behave like this if they are born as Brahmanas? In such a vulgar way. My lord, the names are Jagai and Mada. Their father is a pious Brahmana. But due to bad association, they have spoiled them. Now they only know intoxication. Their names instill fear in the hearts of the people. They, know, they only live by them. Stealing, looting, and violence. Who knows how many sins they have committed? Oh, only you know, my lord. <coughs> Bring them before me. I shall cut them into pieces. Oh, Mahaprabhu. No. You may cut them to pieces. But I will stay there. Yes. Mahaprabhu, well, why are you so angry anyway? You have come. And you're celebrating this Katita Pavan. So how will I be able to perform my mission if you kill them? It is not possible. So please, do not do that. <coughs> tiny, tiny. These rogues have already been delivered. From the very first moment when they saw your holy lotus feet, they were freed from the bondage of this material world. <coughs> Because of your love, concern and pity for them and people like them, they will certainly be delivered and given full care and protection by Lord Krishna very soon. were, as usual, going to different places of the town. And by some divine arrangement, they came and they set up their den on the banks of the Ganga, at a bathing place where Lord Chaitanya regularly went. They went about their business of terrorizing the people. The entire neighborhood was in the grips of terror. The rich, the poor, even the misers. And after dusk, no one ventured to go to the Ganga for their evening ablutions, and if at all they went, then they only went in large groups. Jagai and Madhai spent their nights close to the Lord's house, but every night they heard the sweet kirtan accompanied by Murdangas and Kartals. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama.
the night, Kirtan, my darling. He's the one doing the night, Kirtan. Oh, his form is so beautiful. Oh, you're right. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. You're not very pleased with your Kirtan. In fact, you know, you should sing the Mongol Acharnam of Durga Devi every night. And if you do, we'll even bring the paraphernalia for worship of Srimadhi Durga Devi ourselves. Oh, Nimai, where are you going? Nimai! Nimai, before you go, before you go, Nimai, take the, take the blessings of the Brahmanas. One evening, Lord Nityananda was returning to Lord Chaitanya's house. Krishna Hare 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 Rama 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 Hare Rama
Take these two men to my house. I will engage in Harinam Sankirtan with them. Today I shall bestow upon them something so wonderful, yet very rarely achieved even by Lord Brahma. This will be the ecstatic love of God, cherished by the pure Vaishnavas. They shall become, by my intent, pure, first class Vaishnav devotees. They will become famous all over the world. And even such persons who formerly tremble at the very mention of their names and would purify themselves with a touch of holy Gangajal will now see them and when they associate with them, regard them as being just as pure and holy as Ganga Devi herself. This is a wonderful thing and has only come about by the mercy of my dear brother Nityananda. Nityananda, his word will always become true. Bolo Krishna, Krishna Bola, Krishna
during the past times of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, quite often many, many demigods would come and witness these pastimes. In this particular situation, uh, they would come to see the pastimes of Mahaprabhu, but they would not be witnessed, they would not be seen by others except the associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Only they could see the demigods coming. So one day, Yamaraj and his record keeper, Chitragupta, came to visit. And being extremely amazed by the inconceivable mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, how they had delivered these two drunkards, Jagai and Madhai, and given them such extreme mercy, they began to speak to each other. What could be? What could be operating here? Universal laws don't seem to work. I can't understand. I understood these two were departures. And uh, what's happened here? What have they done? What was the record set? Well, what can you record? In your office, there were more than 95% sin committed by Jagai and Madhai. I can't record anymore. All of this pile is complete. There's no pile to write there. No more pages. No more pages. <laughs> <laughs> what has Mahaprabhu done? Oh, who is Mahaprabhu? Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself. And Nitanapu is Bharati himself. They liberated this two scoundrel. <laughs> <laughs> this is messing up my arrangement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember. But I remember one time. Mandoka Moni. He cursed me. For giving him a hard time when uh, he had lived a, a very spiritual life and therefore I had to take birth as a student. So I think in this time we must be very careful. <laughs> this Mahaprabhu, according to my notes, he may be Rajendra Nanda. Yes, sir. <laughs> in this case, Rajendra Nandan, in the past, he has always vanquished the demons. Yes. But we know he goes in a crooked way. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should best retire. Listen, listen. Look who was up in the planet. They have been picked up. They have been talking each other. Look who was up in the planet. They are discussing the tomorrow's big fire sacrifice. Oh. Let us go. We shall take initiation and the guidance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, right? Yes. And we shall also take Harinam. I don't want to work anymore in your office. Hare Krishna. <laughs> And by the recommendation of Nityananda Prabhu, they built this bathing ghat, which uh, Madhai was feeling so very bad that he had done such grievous offenses and sinful activities. He had approached Lord Nityananda, asking him, What can I do? I feel so bad that I have offended so many Vaishnavas, I have done so many sinful activities. How can I solve this difficulty? And Lord Nityananda recommended 
to that all, you should build one bathing ghat where you can serve all of the Vaishnavas, that they may come to the banks of the Ganga, they may take their bath, and in this way you can render service to them. So they did this. They built this bathing ghat, and there they served all the Vaishnavas who came there. They began to help all of the elderly and the infirm Vaishnavas to take bath. They paid 1,000 obeisances and dandavat pranams to the Vaishnavas daily. They chanted two lakhs of Harinam every day. And in this way, being saved by the mercy of Lord Goranga and Lord Nityananda, they passed their lives always immersed in the astonishing waves of the causeless mercy of the two lords, Jaitan and Nanda. Oh, my God. 